Knowing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is more than saying, I believe. Learn about Catholicism and become a premium member of RealCatholicTV.com today. Because understanding the price paid on the cross is worth more than the cost of a subscription. Artificial conception and birth defects. One doctor says there are many significant risks. An American bishop is facing an investigation after comparing Obama to several 20th century dictators and tensions between Christians and Muslims are at an all-time high in the Sudan. Those stories and more just ahead on Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Risking birth defects. Conceiving through in vitro fertilization increases the risk of birth defects by a significant margin, says a review of dozens of studies done since the practice was initiated 30 years ago. A review of 47 studies done by the University of Nanjing in China revealed children conceived by the fertility procedure are 37% more likely to have a birth defect than children conceived naturally. A doctor from Chicago who recently quit his practice of IVF procedures after 15 years, Dr. Anthony J. Caruso, weighed in on the question of what happens to a child when infertile parents find out their artificially conceived child isn't up to their standards. He says while many love their child no matter what, quote, there is a true desire to quickly determine the health of the child so that, if somehow defective, the option of termination is still viable, end quote. Dr. Caruso, a convert, answered many other questions about in vitro in his interview with Mercator.net, and you can find them on our resource page by clicking on the link right outside the screen. Bishop denied free speech. An American bishop is being blasted over his comments about Obama's policies as political lobbyists and some of America's most prestigious Catholic educators excoriate him. Bishop Daniel Janke of Peoria, Illinois, told Faithful in a sermon he gave that Obama's contraception mandate and, quote, radical pro-abortion and extreme secularist agenda show his intent on following a path similar to past dictators like Hitler, Stalin, and Otto von Bismarck. Following the prelate's remarks, Americans United for Separation of Church and State, a lobby group, is demanding that the IRS investigate the bishop for, quote, illegal engineering, claiming his statements were meant to influence voters in an election. The Anti-Defamation League, a national organization for the protection of Jews, is also calling his remarks, quote, outrageous, offensive, and completely over the top, while the faculty of Catholic College Notre Dame show their lack of support demanding Jenke's resignation from its Board of Fellows if he does not renounce what they call his, quote, destructive analogy. Historic Boston Church closed. A seven-year vigil has ended as the Archdiocese of Boston changes the locks on an east side church. Parishioners from Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish have fought hard to keep the doors open, taking their appeal to the Vatican's highest court, but the court did not rule in their favor. According to the Boston Insider website, a sign has been posted on the door by the archdiocese. A key was broken off in the lock and a side door glued shut, causing one parishioner to comment, quote, we thought it was vandalism. We were put on notice that if we go into the church, we'd be arrested, end quote. While the archdiocese has not said what they intend to do with the church, convent, and other buildings, a statement was issued on Sunday saying, quote, we understand that those who have opposed the closing of Our Lady of Mount Carmel desired a different outcome. The time for this vigil to end has come, end quote. The parishioners have less than 60 days to file a final appeal with the Vatican. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, Expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. 
Mitt Romney is causing a stir amongst conservative voters, deciding to add an openly homosexual man to his staff. Though the liberal media is loving Romney's decision to hire George W. Bush's former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Richard Grinnell, the decision prompted a tweet from the director of the American Family Association saying of Romney, quote, if personnel is policy, his message to the pro-family community drop dead, end quote. It should be noted that Romney needs more conservative voters as he heads into the primaries coming up tomorrow if he's going to compare himself to Obama. As the RealClearPolitics.com average in a matchup between the two shows Obama leading with about four percentage points more of American voters, 48 to 44. Muslim burnt Sudanese church. A mob has torched a Catholic church in Sudan as tensions grow between the militant Islamic nation and the recently seceded and decidedly Christian country of southern Sudan. The church was built on a plot of land with disputed ownership between the two governments, which are fighting over the establishment of the border they share. Witnesses and local newspapers say a mob of several hundred Muslims shouting insults set fire to the Catholic Church, which firemen could not put out. Ethiopian refugees living in the Sudanese capital city used the church complex, which had a school and dormitories attached to it, and they will all now be forced to go elsewhere. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. Also, don't forget to check out the Vortex where Michael comes to us from down under. Again, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.